correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't we note a rather sharp drop somewhere around here? Full of surprises, hey. aren't you? Look at that. A city to put all others to shame. And long lost. We light our own path now, Watcher. Can you do that again? I, I had something in my eye. M missed most of it. All right, then. Grave does <laughs> You understand the value of a mystery watcher. A buried scroll, a hidden truth. These are my ways. You unravel a thread watcher. One you have lost and discovered over generations. And following it to its end has only brought you back to the beginning. A nebula of souls, blind and brimming with potential. The answer to Woodica's question and the beginning of yours. What would you do with them? A mightier quarry for a more glorious battle. Yet the hunter takes the rack of antlers and the string of fangs for the memory of hunting the beast, tracking it through the wilds and grappling with it at last. Even the gods require fresh mysteries. In a way, but something must be done, and hurling them from the machinery of other schemes is the truest course of action. No end, Watcher. That is the purpose. None know. 
They could end up anywhere in the realms of gods or mortals, whole or divided. Discovering them again and charting their course through the ether will be a new mystery. That is a word for endings, and this is but a crossroads. Even I do not know what you would choose. Ready to take the oath to spread the word of the gods to the lost and heathen. I am trusting you to remain loyal to the gods in this. If you do not, you will have greater powers than me to answer to. But you will answer to me as well. I wouldn't ask this were there any other choice. This is a missionary, same as I was, taught the wrong things as I was. Asionis. They have held off many would-be invaders. You are ready to give a confession? <laughs> I'm ready to hear one from you. You are far from your post, Inquisitor. What brings you here? We are in a sanctum holy to Woodica. There are others like it in service to the other gods. I come here often to pray for her counsel, and in this space I may be assured that she hears me. That woman sought only to destroy the foundations of peace and civility that my people sacrificed everything to build. It has many uses, but its purpose is to bring structure to the chaos that surrounds it. They are monuments to Woodica's greatest servants among my people. I hope to join them myself one day, but my work is not yet complete. The Inquisition was based on the need to cut the flesh from a rotting wound. What is a god? Hmm? A higher power? A rewarder of good deeds and punisher of the wicked? 
Something men can turn to in their darkest moments when their days seem only like bridges from one tragedy to the next. Our gods are all these things. We are in a sacred place within earshot of the gods themselves. This is not the time. You've been through much these past few months. You will return home and you will rest. When you feel you have recovered, you may rejoin us at the trials. The Inquisition is far from over, and I will have need of you. There are many who continue to spread the lies of the apostate. The Inquisition will not end until we have pronounced judgment on all of them. How did you find it? Another in a string of acts of petty defiance. For all her knowledge, she always preferred spite over reason. Then she should have obeyed. I ask one thing of all my followers. She was incapable. A waste of rare talent and intellect. What of your cohorts, then? They have followed you to their deaths. Is it loyalty that brings them here? Or is it as my agent suggests, that they have no direction of their own? You. You worshipped Aethus, did you not? Your spies are good. What gave me away? The cape? Yet when your god needed you the most, you chose your country. We were being invaded. Not by anyone who was acting like a god. Then I should think your hometown gave you a hero's welcome when you returned. They made cake. It's hard to blame people for losing faith when it's the gods who are misbehaving. The gods argue over how best to prevent Kith society from destroying itself. These disruptions would not be necessary were mortal instinct not so diseased. You have devoted yourself to studying the work of my people. Why? I thought your people had much to teach us. That we too could create great machines, improve our ships, make an empire as vast and impressive as yours ever was, built upon your secrets. And did you ever consider that these were things you were never meant to understand? That their comprehension is beyond you? You are living in the time of my people, Amawa. You owe them more than you will ever comprehend, and so it shall ever be. Greater civilizations than yours have attempted to reclaim what we buried. The greater their successes, the worse their fates in the end. I have seen to it. You built a weapon that delivered exactly as promised. I served my goddess as you did yours. Yet the other builders were slain. Eleven of a dozen. Why not you? Were you somehow different? Redeemable in your god's sight? Whatever desire I had to be redeemed in her eyes was weakness, purged by the Watcher's sight. Or was it merely that your goddess wanted you dead as well, and your delusions of importance prevented you from seeing the obvious? A whore's beguiling charms, nothing more. But the spell's broke now, they the trial's over. I know friend from foe, and I've come here now to see a foe repaid. You were able to destroy a god because another god wished it. Without her hand to guide you, you could not strike at a god any more than you could strike the sky. You are impotent, and not just from the pox. I understand your duke's bells gave you a mission. Their orders do not absolve me of my greater responsibility to the safety and well-being of the Republics. Yet you disobeyed. 
Something you already have a reputation for. They will know, of course. If it had been for a worthy cause, they might have forgiven you. But I don't see them pursuing animancy after seeing what it's done here. They trusted you. And you disappointed. As you always have. And you will again be disowned. The parents scold, but the children are safe. Whether animancy research continues in the Republics or not, they will survive. For now, that's enough. In any case, I wouldn't be so smug about my fate, Deus. I imagine Woodica responds to disappointment much more severely than even my dukes. State your name and purpose, young acolyte. My name belongs to the gods, in my hand to their service. And I'm going to purge it of your stain. You serve none but yourself. Without contact with your order, you can have no higher purpose. Only the base concerns of the flesh. You have cast yourself from our ranks. No. I've risen above them. I'll take the leaden key and lead in a way that you, who remained nothing more than a slave to the gods, never could. A leader without insight, directing an organization that does not question. Quite a vision, Initiate. You are here because you are lost. The gods cannot reach everyone, I'm afraid. May you fare better in your next lives. I gather you have had your soul awakened. Why else would you shadow my footsteps like some stray mongrel? You think I have something to offer you, but our business was concluded long ago. I answered your questions once. That your soul is not fit to accept the answers is of little concern to me. I lied to no one. Not to you, not to anyone. The gods are real. They are everything we need them to be, and the world is better for it. The gods are family enough to me. Your family disowned you. I hoped you find one that wouldn't. The power of a family is in its reassurance that you are not alone. I gave that to you. And now I seek to preserve that for this forsaken country as well. The heart of this country has skipped a beat. Nothing more. I have done far worse. I plunged the peaceful kingdom of Telosus into civil war. I slew the monarch of Desantio, whose people never knew hardship under his rule, and replaced him with a cruel despot who brought them to ruin. When plague arrived at the great city of Arborensis, I saw to it that the cure did not. They piled their dead outside the city in heaps that rose above their walls. That's where you are mistaken. There was a time, back when your soul was still a shapeless mist, when the world believed only in false gods. Thousands of them. Gods that told them to take slaves. Gods that told them to make war upon their neighbors and devour the slain. Gods that told them to burn their children alive and cover themselves in the ashes as a sign of their faith. But all that changed when they learned of the true gods. Our gods. All those misshapen, bestial instincts melted beneath the radiance of our gods' majesty. You could see it in their eyes. That dull emptiness replaced with the glimmer of a kindled spark. No person can overcome his instincts by himself. Only with the aid of a god. Someone he will respect and listen to, even against his every impulse, does he stand a chance. Have you imagined this existence? The one the apostate would have created? We are not all so virtuous as she. Without our gods, the most wicked, the most tyrannical, they would take that power for themselves. But more than that, it would be a hollow existence. All mysteries forever unanswered. All purposes constructed from meaninglessness. No endings to bring closure. Only a wheel turning without mercy, grinding our spirits to dust. 
All I have seen. The millennia of experience. I will not be dissuaded from this course. This is the only way. We are all controlled by our own doubts. Better that we should be relieved of them. With your soul and thousands of others, I will see this world purged of its suffering. Hear me, Woodica. Your servant calls for aid. All those lifetimes spent to preserve a single vital secret. I would expect a man to reconsider his choices after the first 500 years. That's the servant down and the mistress still to go. A good start, worthy of being built upon. In his own way, Theos must have truly believed he was caring for the people of Aeora, protecting them from themselves. A shame his soul won't have a chance to reflect on his errors before it enters the wheel. Some point, you have to look at the things your god is telling you to do, and ask yourself if it's worth it. All those lives, and at the end of them, he was no better than the very people he sought to guide. A pity he would ever have to face that realization again.
Was there nothing there worth saving? <laughs> Forgive me. I know you chose wisely. It is an ending, even if there is little justice in it. <laughs> <laughs>